Hey, what's up guys, Colton here. So today I'm giving you my fishing report from Chincoteague, Virginia on down to the Outer Banks. All right, so let's get to it. Starting up in Chincoteague, flounder are being caught in big numbers by anglers drifting live minnows and squid combos on three-way flounder rigs, bucktails and trailers with a little skirt or a teaser. All right, on the surf, Assateague has been on fire for black drum and striped bass. Big black drum in the 50 pound range are hitting the local tackle shop and being weighed. For that surf bite, anglers are using peeler crabs from the tackle shops on high-low rigs and fish finder rigs right off the surf. Heading further south on the eastern shore, we get into Washapreeg. Washapreeg is a very well-known flounder spot and this year is no different. Big numbers of nice fish are being caught. So if you can get up there and do some fishing in Washapreeg, the same thing applies, drifting live baits and squid combos on these three way, on these flounder rigs. So in the lower portion of the eastern shore, anglers are catching speckled trout, redfish, black drum, and tautog, as well as flounder. In the usual spots, the Kip to Peak concrete ships are holding fish. And for all these fish, cut bait works just fine, but for the speckled trout and the redfish, anglers are having a lot of success as usual, casting jig heads and artificials and working soft plastics and hard baits like the mirror lures, uh, especially the mirror deans. So sinking twitch baits and soft plastics are great ways to target these speckled trout, whether or wherever they are. You can fish for speckled trout and redfish with the same tactics wherever these fish roam. What I consider to be the king of the Chesapeake Bay, bull reds, all right? giant redfish and anglers are anchoring out and throwing chunks of blue crab either quarter halves or whole blue crab out on fish finder rigs and catching these trophy redfish now you can also catch them casting uh, soft plastics i personally love catching bull reds on bucktails with a curly tail grub of some kind whether it's gulp or another brand but a curly tail grub on a bucktail is a great way to target redfish, especially if you think soaking baits is a little bit boring. But giant reds are being caught on the shoals and the bridge on the Fisherman's Island side of Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. There are a lot of tall dog being caught along the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Anglers are finding success along the rocks on the islands of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, as well as all the bridge pilings along the entire span. Kip to Peak is another great place we talked about it earlier, but the Kip to Peak concrete ships, great place to target Tautog, especially if you are trying to familiarize yourself with the bite. When I targeted Tautog for the first time, I went to Kip to Peak on a calm day so that I could really focus on what that slight tap tap felt like or what it felt like to watch the fishing line move before I set the hook. So you learn a lot fishing for fish like Tautog and Sheep's Head on a calm day in a protected area but the concrete ships at Kip to Peak are a great place to target Tautog. Tautog are being caught with quarter chunks of blue crab. So you get yourself a blue crab and cut it in half and then quarter it. I fish with jigs when I target Tautog and you want to take that jig and run it through the exposed meat and then out the leg, one of the leg sockets that you pop off after quartering the uh, chunk of blue crab. As for the Norfolk and Virginia Beach area, uh, fish are moving around now. I mean, you can go anywhere and you can get yourself on some speckled trout and some puppy drum. Um, but the Elizabeth River and the Lafayette are still holding fish right now. The inlets are absolutely on fire. It's that time of year. So Rudy Inlet is gonna be full of trout, full of puppy drum. And uh, sometimes it bites on, sometimes it's not, but the fish are there. So it's important to not get discouraged if you're fishing in a place that's very popular and fished a lot and the bite seems off if you keep working it you're going to find it and that's why fishing low light conditions and stuff like that it's a little more important i think when you're in a high pressured area to really focus on those different factors but the usual tactics for your speckled trout redfish and flounder casting quarter ounce jig heads on a slow retrieve with the z-man swim baits or gulp swimming mullets those are the preferred choices you can also troll uh, sinking twitch baits like the Mirror Lore, the 52MR, and 
working syncing to or working mirror dean xls stuff like that hard baits casting and or trolling uh, working soft plastics on jig heads cut bait as well if you've got some cut mullet or something that's <laughs> redfish candy but I, again i prefer to work artificials it's not long now we are there are reports now in the outer banks of cobia catches and a ton of cobia sightings the cobia are I'm sure there are some that are here now in Chesapeake Bay, but they are in route if they're not. So we've got the cobia fishery is about to light up and the season's about to be on. So it's time to start getting those heavier rods rigged up and getting yourselves loaded up with some bucktails for sight casting these brutes when you're out there looking for other stuff. Um, for the cobia, I mean, cobia and bull reds, live bait is a great way to do it also. Uh, but like I said, the bucktails with the curly tail grubs and stuff like that are my favorite ways to target cobia and bull reds, it, whether sight fishing or just working structure along bridge pilings. And lastly, guys, I want to talk about down in the Outer Banks. So like I said before, there's been a lot of reports of cobia sightings and cobia catches. The Spanish mackerel bite has turned on inshore, a lot of Spanish being caught. And obviously, just like our waters here in the Virginia Beach area, the inshore scene is fantastic with speckled trout, redfish, and flounder. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the fishing report. If you have any comments, stuff you'd like to see, um, other ways you'd like me to do this, this is going to be a weekly or bi-weekly thing that we're doing here. So I really wanna give you guys what you wanna know and help you to catch more fish in your local waters or set you up well if you decide to travel somewhere and try to get on a good bite, all right? So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, all right? And check out this video, or this video, this video, that video. One of those videos could change your life. Check it out, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.